Moving right along. Foot loose and fancy free. Getting there is half the fun. Come share it with me. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're taking a look at every Muppet movie ranked. Hey, Fuzzy! I want you to meet a friend of mine. <laughs> waka waka. For this list, we're ranking each of the Muppet movies from worst to best. Just know that we're only considering the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, Muppetational theatrical releases and not straight-to-video ones like Muppet Classic Theater or Kermit Swamp Years. Now, it's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to rank the Muppets on Ms. Mojo tonight. Or today, whatever. Number 8. Muppets from Space Ow, Bad, so. On its own, Muppets from Space isn't really a terrible movie. As a Muppets movie, however, it fails miserably. Sure, there's plenty of humor to be had between Rizzo and Pepe's banter and Gonzo's odd antics, but it's missing one crucial element to the Muppets' DNA. The music. Every single song in this movie is a licensed song that was being beaten to death in the 90s well before the film's release. Celebration, Brick House, Flashlight, it was all the soul and funk songs that one would expect, and licensed music simply does not make the Muppets. Me? Yeah, you boy! <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, we only paid attention when Bobo was on screen. His scenes were the best. Hmm? service. <laughs> Number 7. Muppets Most Wanted I don't think Americans watch subtitled films. Kermit, how about the Muppets go on a world tour? That's perfect! Just when it seemed like the Muppets were making a comeback in the 2010s, their revival came crashing down when Most Wanted released. While the humor was spot on and the inclusion of Ricky Gervais, Ty Burrell, and Tina Fey made for an entertaining cast, it's the story and music that fall flat on their face. I'm number two. He's number one. I'm number one! You know life's gone to the dogs when your boss is a frog. The story comes off a bit haphazard at times, and the pacing fluctuates between moving too quickly and too slowly. As for the songs, they often serve more as quick distractions rather than add any real substance to the plot or characters. Considering the movie that came before it, Muppets Most Wanted simply couldn't carry the torch. So how can something so right feel so wrong tonight? Number 6. The Great Muppet Caper Hey, how are you guys fixing to pay? What are our choices? A. Credit card. B. Cash. C. Sneak out in the middle of the night. We'll take C. Very popular choice. Indeed, following your predecessors can be a difficult task, and it was a challenge that the great Muppet caper was unfairly demanded to achieve. Unfortunately, the songs simply weren't memorable enough to call it one of the best Muppet outings, though they did have some excellent performances and set pieces. Humor and writing, on the other hand, was solid. It was you, Kermit was right. Oh, oh no, no, no. You're oh, a no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Yes, you are. You know what? You can't even sing. Your voice was dubbed. Between visual gags, witty dialogue, and the frequent breaking of the fourth wall, you can't not crack a smile at least a few times while watching this. The Great Muppet Caper is really a decent showing, as long as you don't expect too much from it. Just watch my dreams come true. This is something I was born to do. Stepping out with a star, that star is you. Number 5. Muppet Treasure Island Look what a cannibal took off me in exchange for me own life. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be hard-pressed to find someone who grew up in the 90s and didn't see this underrated gem. Sure, it's another adaptation with some Muppet-style metacasting, but it's how the film carries itself that makes it so memorable. From start to finish, Muppet Treasure Island successfully replicates the same feeling of adventure as its source material, with its own sea shanties and colorful characters like Blind Pew. We're not pleased with that deal. Not at all. We want you to have this! 
Speaking of characters, Tim Curry almost steals the entire show as Long John Silver, and you can see he had fun with the role. Of course, it wouldn't be a Muppets classic without some heart in the story. Seriously, did anyone else tear up at the end? Oh, hell, Jim. I can never harm you. You're honest and brave and true. You didn't learn that from me. I learned it from my friends, Mr. Silver. Number four, The Muppets Take Manhattan. Together again. Oh, gee, it's good to be together again. Kermit and the gang have graduated college and are ready to make it big on Broadway. The only problem is no one seems to want to buy their production. Yes, it's a somewhat depressing plot for something as cheery as The Muppets, and yet it works surprisingly well. Saying goodbye, why is it sad, makes us remember the good times we've had. The hardships every character faces feel real, but not real enough to get the audience in a mopey mood. Muppets Take Manhattan balances it out by giving us some catchy tunes, heartfelt messages, and some of the sweetest moments between Kermit and Miss Piggy. It may not be the best movie in the franchise, but for what it is, it's pretty good. What better way could anything end, hand in hand with a friend? Number three, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, there goes Mr. Humbug, there goes Mr. Grimm. If they gave a prize for being mean, the winner would be him. You'd have to be a whole different kind of Scrooge to hate on this movie. Much like the Treasure Island retelling, the Muppets once again go through a meta casting to perform Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol. While each of Jim Henson's characters serve as excellent supporting characters, the real star is none other than Michael Caine as Scrooge himself. Caine puts on a spectacular performance as one of the grouchiest and cruelest depictions of Scrooge in film, and it's a great contrast to the otherwise joyous songs that will remain wedged inside your skull long after the movie's over. Just a season to be jolly and joyous. Really, just try forgetting about Scrooge, One More Sleep Till Christmas, or Marley and Marley. You can't. We're Marley and Marley. We're Marley and Marley. Number two, The Muppets. Life's a happy song. When there's someone by your side to sing. Life's a happy song. When there's someone by your side to sing. At this point in Muppets history, we hadn't seen our favorite felt-made friends since Muppets from Space. It was almost as if they were fading into obscurity. This 2011, long-awaited sequel acknowledges this at the start of the movie, and what follows is a chase to reclaim the fame. Could we do it all again? Make them laugh like we did then. The Muppets was an achievement in resurrecting an old IP and showing how even the oldest properties could bounce back as if they never left. Clever writing, hilarious gags, and handfuls of references all make up this classic. Adding to the Marvel on display is, of course, the music. With songs like Man or Muppet, Pictures in My Head, and Life's a Happy Song, The Muppets is almost the perfect feel-good movie. Am I a man or am I a Muppet? Am I a Muppet? If I'm a Muppet, and I'm a very manly Muppet. Very manly Muppet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, The Muppet Movie. You with the banjo. Uh, can you help me? I have lost my sense of direction. Uh, have you tried Harry Krishna? <laughs> no. If someone were to ask where to start watching anything Muppets related, this is absolutely the first thing they should watch. And it's not because it's the origin of how they all came together. The Muppet movie tells you exactly what Kermit and Friends are about. Delightful and sometimes emotional songs, witty humor that can range between self-deprecating and overly meta, subtly ridiculous plots and motives, and a message about following your dreams. I'm moving right along. Foot loose and fancy free. Getting there is half the fun. Come share it with me. 
and this goes without mentioning what may be the best compilation of songs the Muppets have ever had. Once you hear Rainbow Connection or Movin' Right Along for the first time, you will never forget them. Someday we'll find it, the Rainbow Connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.